Welcome to my kitchen. Today we're going to learn about making our own laundry soap. So there's a few ingredients that you need. Uh, we're going to start with the Fells naphtha soap and what you want to do with this is grate it up and where you would find this would be at maybe a Smith's Farm Store in Yurts. Um, we looked in town several years ago and always had to find it out of town but they might be carrying it now because I think more and more people are doing this. And um, so what you do is you take your fells nut to the soap, unwrap it, and then grate it up. I already did that to save some time. You just use a little grater is what I did. And you're grating it kind of like you're grating cheese. Um, it's not very time consuming and it's gonna look like this. You wanna grate it kind of small. I probably could have grate, grated it smaller because you wanna melt this all the way down before you put in the rest of your ingredients. Another thing you wanna get is a five gallon bucket. That's what this is. They come with their own lids, but you can, buy a it's called a gamma lid separate and if you have small ones you probably want to do that because the lid they come with you have to hammer it down and then it's really hard to get off so these make it so much easier and you can probably purchase these online i got these from a co-op and then they just fit in there and then makes it really nice easy uh, to shut and so if it spills knocks over something won't spill out everywhere okay so and then the other ingredients that i use are oxyclean um, I really like that and then the super washing soda and Clorox and then borax and so I use a total of five ingredients plus water and there are lots of different recipes that you can look and use I have used several different ones and this is kind of the one I hit on that I like the best and when when I get done making it I'll show you one more step that I do to get the the best smelling clothes and the most clean clothes and especially under the underarms we want to get those white underarms clean um, this is a book that I picked up a long time ago I really like it the naturally clean home I'm sure there's a lot like it but it's full of just great um, recipes and things that you can do to have a more naturally clean home instead of using heavy heavy chemicals and stuff and so I'll uh, refer to this one here in a little bit too okay so the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna melt down our fells and the soap and this might take just a little while to do. You need to take about four cups of water. And this is two cups. And I'm gonna see how quickly I can melt it down. You have to kind of keep stirring it, so it might take just a little bit. I won't really bother with stirring it yet, but I'll stir it in a little bit. And it starts going. I guess I could put a lid on that. Maybe it'll go faster. Uh. Okay. So now what you do while that's going, what I'm going to do is, this is super easy to remember. I do one cup, one cup, one cup, one cup. And so that's really easy. So one bar of fell... fell Fells naphtha soap and then one cup one cup one cup one cup of my four different ingredients and I will just dump them in here in my bucket and then I'll have to stir it up and you're gonna laugh at what I use to stir it up with I will go get it hold on just a minute <laughs> Okay, I used this crazy um, stick that my son found and peeled off the bark. And it's perfect because I just keep it in my laundry room and I just stir it around because it does separate. And so you'll have to, you know, stir it when, after you use it, but we'll talk about that in a little bit. But, so this is the easy thing. If you have a dowel rod or an old broom handle, just anything to stir, you can even use your hand, but I don't like to do that. So, so this is what we use and it's, yeah, it's pretty ugly. Okay, so I am going to dump the ingredients in there. Let me get out the cup. And then after these sit a while, I only make laundry soap. Probably that five gallon bucket, I really should write it down. I think it might last me about six months. And so we have a large family, again, um, so it lasts a while. And if you have a smaller family, it would last even longer. So, um, you know, when stuff like this sits around, it gets hard, so you have to kind of scrape it out. I'm not sure why it does that. Okay, I'm gonna have to get a knife. Break it up. Cut this part out. Sorry. <laughs> I should have done this beforehand. 
Um, I should have, you know what? I should have priced this out for you. I'm not exactly sure. I think the Fells Nap the Bar of Soap, I'm gonna guess $2-ish. And these, um, I think every product here is definitely under $5. And you can use it again because you only use a cup at a time and it, it keeps fine it just kind of clumps together and hardens but it's still um, effective so i probably had all this stuff for at least a year if not longer okay so that's close enough so one cup of the oxyclean the original recipe i had just had these three and not the oxyclean and i found adding this really made a difference in getting my white spider oh i'm hearing this mister one time I got really lazy and I didn't um, melt this down all the way. Uh, and it just, it'll just stay in chunks. <laughs> so definitely melt your Fells Nap the soap completely to liquid because it will just stay in, in this little chunky form in there and probably not as effective. So do that. Okay, so I use that one. And now this kind of chunked up too. There's other uses for this washing soda, by the way makes a great um, sink cleans out your sink really good with some vinegar you dump this in there with actually you mix this with water and about a cup of it with I don't know four or five cups of water and dump it down there and just kind of let it sit for maybe a couple minutes and then pour vinegar in it and it really clean white vinegar and really cleans out your sink really good and gets the smell out and um, that's I like this stuff it's good stuff and there's tons of uses for it too So this is a little chunky, but this will dissolve pretty good in the hot water here in a little bit. Well, I might have to, sorry. There we go, now we're pouring. Okay, so one cup of that, dump that in there. And now my Clorox, that doesn't clump too bad. Um, and also, some recipes call for a fragrance. I find that all of these kind of have a very pleasant fragrance and mixed together. I don't add any kind of fragrance, but you can look into adding maybe some drops of lemon essential oil or lavender essential oil. And I, I'll uh, come back to these after a little bit for my laundry um, softener. We're gonna talk about that today too. This is a big old chunk. So I love the smell just by itself. But I do do one cheater thing at the end of this, and I will get to that, what I do. I'll show you. Now, yeah. I'm just gonna rip the whole lid off. I'll have to put this in a freezer bag or something and label it and keep it up out of the way. I have a cabinet above my washer and dryer that I keep all this stuff. Okay, so those are my four ingredients, and now I'm just going to add hot water. I wish this would take a while. See what I'm gonna do. This is hot water, so you want to use hot water because it's going to dissolve your ingredients really good. You want to mix your bucket up with hot water and uh, about halfway at first until you get your Fells Naphtha soap all dissolved, which that should be getting pretty close, I hope. Just check that. <laughs> Multitasking. It's what I do best. Oh, oh, this does not foam up very bad as you're spraying the water in, so it's not like gonna come bubbling over while you're spraying in the water. Okay, I'm just about halfway. And I will fill it up the rest of the way here momentarily. I'm gonna take my handy stick and I'm just going to start mixing it so it dissolves together. I 
I still hear it when I'm mixing it, so I'll just kind of mix it where I don't hear it scraping around anymore. And the hot water will help it to dissolve faster. So I'll come back to that. Let me, whoop. That kind of ran over a little bit. That'd be fun cleaning this pot later. <laughs> Okay, this is almost dissolved. It does take a while. Um, Seem like the last time I did, it probably takes a full, probably about 20 minutes to dissolve it. The first time I did it, I just did it on low and I felt like it took about all day to dissolve it. And then I thought, you know, I'm just gonna speed the process up and turn it higher, but again, you don't want it running over your pot like mine just did, because it makes it fun cleaning the pot later. And I wouldn't recommend grating it in your food processor. I thought about doing that, but then I thought I probably would never get the smell out. <laughs> and it's a good smell, but it's just a soap smell, not a food smell, so. <laughs> you probably don't want that in your food processor. So I just grab a hand grate and do it that way. Okay, a few more chunky pieces need to dissolve. Um, I have found we have a high efficiency uh, washing machine and this works great in, in our um, high efficiency washing machine. And we, I typically use about a quarter of a cup. And so I will pour it, after I have it mixed up, I will pour it into this. And I have this Arm & Hammer out for a, a reason. I was going to show you, um, this is my, my little cheater thing at the very end. This is how I, I, I like clean laundry. I don't want to just save money and then have grungy laundry. So I, I like it really clean. So I do buy, um, I like Arm & Hammer. I like Tide. Um, Tide is a really good, I think it's probably the best on the market, but it's so, so expensive. And so we are always, always looking for ways to, um, you know, have the best but at the same time, save the most money. And so I like Arm & Hammer. I really, really like Sam's Club Members Mark. And that's where we went this morning. And that's what I was looking for, Sam's Club Members Mark laundry um, detergent. Because to me, it's equal to Tide. And it's not half the price, but it's quite a bit of a savings. And they didn't have it. And so I went ahead and just got the Arm & Hammer. So what I do is, this is my little cheater thing. After I have this all mixed up, and I'll, I'll finish mixing this up in a minute, this has to sit for 24 hours after you mix it up, by the way. And then in the morning, or 24 hours later, it will, it will really separate. There'll be liquid on the bottom, and there'll be this, this uh, it's not, it's not solid, because you could put your hand through it, but it needs to be mixed really, really, really good. Almost if I had a huge whisker, that would be the best. But I just use this thing, and I probably mix it for a good five minutes, because it's really, it's a good mass on the top, and it floats right on the top. And so you want to mix it every time you use it. But um, this is like my storage container. Then I'll take, um, where is my, excuse me, where's my cup? Oh, here it is. Sorry. I'll take this and then I'll just scoop out what I need and I'll pour it in here. And I typically use three quarters of my homemade mix to one quarter of the store bought. And so, like I said, this would last us and we're 12 in our family. This will last us six months. Easy. Pretty easy. And, um, I use a quarter of a cup at a time. And so you can either, um, these are really nice because you can see how much you have less left. Plus, every time this lid fits on tightly, you're gonna have to shake it. And you don't want anything much bigger than this because <laughs> it gets heavy. So I can just shake it pretty quick with this. And then I just pop the top. And this is a new one, isn't it? Nice and new because they get grungy. So every once in a while I'll buy a new one. So you just pour it in the little quarter cup and then you just pour it into your machine. And that's, that's what I do. And I find that that cleans my clothes. I'm really happy with um, the outcome. And so that's what I do. Okay, so this should be ready now. If you wanna come and see, it's all melted. And this is what you're looking for. You want it to look like it's just soup. You know, it's just a liquid broth, I guess. Not soup, but broth. I think I do see a couple chunkies in there. But, um, this is hot, so you wouldn't you know, want to spill it on yourself, so be really, really careful when you're doing this. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and turn it off, and then I'm just going to pour this into my mixture. Now 
And so I would just recommend putting this right in your sink right away and putting water in it so it doesn't harden. So you don't have to scrub so hard later on. Okay, so I'm gonna mix this around while that's filling up. You wanna watch. Now we're getting some more suds, a few more suds. Now I'm gonna fill this up the rest of the way with water. You know what, I'm probably just gonna take that water. Let me put this on this side. There we go. It's a fun noise. Not really. So I haven't really priced out how much money that we have saved. Um, but doing this takes a little bit of time. It's, I started 38 minutes ago. So this takes about 40 minutes and I don't have to do this again for about six months. <laughs> so that's pretty nice. I think this should be about it. So it saves um, money and it saves time. I'll, um, I really should price this out for you. Because I would like to know myself. My husband has a degree in accounting and so he probably already has it priced out in his head. Me, however, I hate math. So I just like to round up, <laughs> round down. <laughs> so I know it definitely saves us lots of money and lots of time because we're all busy moms. So I still feel like I kind of hear that, but here's the deal. I'm gonna let this sit for 24 hours and um, it's hot water. Again, I wanna remind you to make sure you mix it with hot water. And you can find tons of recipes online. You can just Google homemade laundry soap and there's so many fun recipes. So it's really kind of also fun to make your own stuff and, and just to know that you can. And then look how these are all still full. I probably have, oh gosh, five years worth of laundry soap from these four products, five products and then water and then um you know i buy i think this cost me 13 dollars at sam's club and again i'm going to add about a quarter of that and the rest i'm going to add with my homemade stuff so I, I i'm going to guess all of this together might have cost 20 dollars. so this 20 this about 13 i think the members mark i think it's like 15 dollars. and um the sam's club would go to tide and buy the big tide and it's like 24 20 or 24. So just add that together and then, you know, times six months. So it's a, I think it's a significant savings for you. Plus it's kind of fun to do. You can get your kids involved. My kids always like to stir it. They're not around now because they do like to make messes. So um, anyway, so that's pretty much it. I'm gonna show you next how to make um, your own homemade um, a laundry softener. And I, pr I love, um, homemade laundry softener because all you use is vinegar and um, whatever essential oil you want to use and so this big thing of vinegar you guys know how cheap vinegar is I mean it's a dirt cheap that probably costs two dollars if and you uh, I probably use about an eighth of a cup maybe a quarter of a cup about an eighth of a cup the wonderful thing about vinegar is it's a great rinse and it helps get any residual soap out of your clothes a lot most people use way too much soap anyways in their washing machines especially now with the high efficiency washing machines you really only need to use about a quarter of a cup i know that freaks us out we all think we need to dump in a whole cup but you really don't and so that's another savings right there just not using as much and too much soap it just stays in your clothes and your clothes do get grungy looking and we think oh they're not getting clean really it's not getting the soap out because we're using too much soap and so vinegar is a great rinse to help get any residual soap out of our clothes and um, also cleans out the inside of our washing machine too and I like to add depends on what mood you're in you can pour this in different containers you can get um, there's so many different scents that you can get you can get pine um, patchouli um, chamomile you can get thyme we love thyme in our family um, lemon and lavender probably are the two favorites for the um, softener and so I'm just gonna go with lavender and so what you really need is to a whole gallon is 20 drops but this is a big one so it doesn't have the little dropper thing on the top so 20 drops is about a fourth of a teaspoon 
and this is a little half of a teaspoon thing here so I'm just going to pour this about halfway and so that's all you use just a tiny 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 bit and lavender essential oil is one of the lesser expensive essential oils essential oils can be expensive uh-oh I didn't open this <laughs> I got it I got it I got it <laughs> okay I got it so I'm just gonna dump this right in there Um, where I get my essential oils, um, we are involved in a food co-op, so I just order my stuff there, but you can order online. Um, Rose Mountain Herb has lots of essential oils, and I think their prices are pretty good, but you can find lots of stores online and order it that way. Um, so then I would just kind of mix it up, and I'm not sure I would do this every time, because essential oil does a real good job mixing all in with your, with your base. So I wouldn't have to like keep mixing this. And then you just want to keep a little cup or um, a lot of times I just keep extra of these in my laundry room. And then, you know, just a tiny bit. And then you can just examine your laundry. How, how does it smell? How does it feel? And if you think, oh, I think I'll add a little bit more next time or that was way too much. <laughs> it's really smelly. Um, but this is a really great smell. The thing about lemon, lemon is such a clean smell. So it just depends on what you like. Lavender is a relaxing, calming smell. And I really like that, but I like the clean smell too. And so you can kind of choose what you want. But anyways, this is a great um, laundry softener. I really encourage you to use it. If you don't like vinegar, if that kind of freaks you out, another thing that you can do is just get a little swatch of 100% cotton material, a little square of it, and then you can add your essential oils to that and then just throw that in your dryer with your clothes. And then that'll just get your clothes smelling really nice if you're you know, using, using this. I'm not sure exactly softens it, but uh, that was a, that was a suggestion in this book for your own dryer sheets and so i've not used that idea i just thought that was kind of clever so anyway so that's all i have for you today thank you very much for joining me and we will see you next time bye hello last week we made our soap and i wanted to show you what it looks like I'll give you a little update on so when you go to make it you're not surprised so it's had time to sit and do its gel and the top becomes really um, almost solid but not quite you can see how it's real mucilagous and then underneath you can see the liquid underneath so what I do before I um, go to use it and put it in my container here I stir it real good you want to start real good and get it um, all mixed up and you don't have to stir it perfectly but you just want to try to get it a good mix on it And then I will just take a measuring cup like this, something, something like that. And then I have a container like this. You can use an old um, Tide container or whatever, but just probably something that you can pick up fairly easily. I wouldn't get anything over a gallon. I got this at Walmart. It's pretty cheap and it's even marked. So one liter, two liter, three liter, and the top is the four liter. So I take my Tide, or I think I, I got some different detergent last week, and I fill it up one quarter of the way, and then I just scoop up this, this soap, and I stick it in there the rest of the way, all the way up to the top. And you can see how much I've used this week already. So thank you for joining me again, uh, making my homemade soap and updating you, and I hope it goes well when you make yours. Thanks, bye.